If that's it, I need to see the body with my own two eyes. I need to know. So Gortash is nothing more than a pile of flesh? Same as the rest of us. I feel like I should laugh, but just too God's damn tired. Is that it then? Killed the bastard who ruined my life and now I crawl into a corner and die? Am I fucking missing something? I'm beyond overwhelmed. I'm... I'm finished. <sighs> he's dead. And he's no fucking sorrier now than he was before. What was the point? I'm still dying. I'm dying. I'm going to die. Say that. So you found some way to fix me. That now Gortash is dead, I'll get my heart back. My heart. It was mine. And they took it. I'm going to be as dead as Gortash any day now. Any moment. And what then? Off to the city of judgment to waste into oblivion? Into the dirt to get eaten by maggots? Is that it for me? Is that fucking all? And you, you'll just keep going, won't you? Watching the stars, warming your hands on the campfire, dancing, eating, making fucking love all night, all of it, all of it! That's my reward for everything I suffered! That's why I survived 10 years of torment! The fighting! The clawing, the loneliness, <laughs> the fucking loneliness, all of it, so I could rot. Because the person I trusted the most gave me away to the devil. <laughs> it isn't fair. <laughs> I don't want it like this. <laughs> I don't want to die. I want to live. I want to stay. <laughs> what the fuck am I supposed to do now? <laughs> Let's get out of here. I've always hated this place. Stupid fucking gigantic bridge or whatever. I think I need to go to camp for a while. Be alone. Scream at the sky. You can come and find me later if you want to. Thanks for listening. <laughs> for existing. Love you. Yeah, despite my best efforts. I kept trying to flop over and give up, but Carlat just won't let me. Did I miss anything important? Hmm, nothing out of the ordinary, then. You know, soldier, we're so fucked. The Dark Three are trying to consume the Sword Coast. We've still got tadpoles in our eyes, and I've got a ticking time bomb in my chest. I'm not sure anyone has ever been more fucked than this. And yet... We're fine. In this moment, we're fine. Here I am. There you are. Breathing. Talking. Even laughing if we want. Is it very precious to say that despite it all, I'm happy? In that case, there's something I wanted to ask you. Will you stay with me? when it's time for me to go. I think I can do anything if you're there. Even die.
Thank you. Now, enough tragedy. I'm not gone yet, and our schedule is packed with important heroics, isn't it? Plus, if I cry any more, I'm going to run out of tears and start leaking motor oil. Thanks for everything, soldier. I'm extremely glad to be in this thing together. Garlic needs time. Space. But more than this, I think, she needs to know she is not alone. And answers, justice, ten years of her life back. All manner of things we cannot give her. She's already lost her heart. She deserves better than to have her friends heap happy lies upon her. Good. Perhaps she needs that too. I'm still thinking about Karlak. About what she said. Cut. There really is no justice in the world. The agony of knowing the end is near. I spent years swatting away my fears and doubts of my infernal fate. And I eventually made my peace. I had to. You will too, Karlak. I know it. Until then, I'm here every step of the way. Poor Karlak. Having to face her own mortality in such a... definitive manner. Though the rest of us are still liable to perish, if it's any consolation. Ah, ally mine. We are reunited once more. I was just regaling sweet Isabel with tales of our prowess. Very impressive. Thank you for helping Aelin. That wizard sounded absolutely dastardly. He did, and it came. Now, my friend, bask in your victory. I will do the same. My darling, we must inform our friend of our news. Indeed. I've scouted a Salunite enclave outside the city. They faced the Absolute's armies and come out battered and bruised. Aelin and I will go to them, provide what help we can. But fear not. When the time comes for you to face the foe of foes, Isabel and I will stand by your side. We wouldn't miss it. Not for anything. Go well, friend. We will see you soon. And with our great powers combined, this city will be saved. No sense dawdling. Karlak has precious little time left to her. We'd do better than to waste it. Karlak has had her mortality defined to her in most cruel terms. I do not know if we can help her, but perhaps we can at least be there for her. It's an orphanage, Ukta. What would you have me do? Seize their toys as payment? Well, they fail to pay tribute. We should withdraw our protection. At the very least. And cede more ground to the Stone Lord. <laughs> You're not suggesting I yield a single inch of the city, my city, to this cult. I... <clears throat> we already look weak. If you're seen to be forgiving debts... I didn't say forgive. Seize the building. Are many children old enough? If they protect what's mine, we'll consider that a start on what's owed. Yes, Guildmaster. I... Excuse me! This is a private council! Keep your underpants clean, Ukta. We're playing host to a hero. You owe me a gold piece, Grandmother. When I heard you died out in the wilderness, I made an offering at Kelimvor's well. Of gold? Oh, I did not know I meant so much to you, Guildmaster. Oh, I'm terribly sentimental. Case in point, I've just let a harper walk through my guild hall, noticeably unhold. Because I'm curious about why you're here and who it is you've brought with you. How nice. You won't find many of those in my guild hall. We won't tax your hospitality too long, Nine Fingers. I'm searching for Minsk of Rashomon. A big name, that. Such information does not come cheap, High Harper. Not in normal times. Of course, 
Seeing as these are not normal times and we're all such good friends, I'll do better than tell you where he is. I'm bringing him here as we speak. Or parts of him, at least. I gave no orders about the condition of his corpse. What treachery is this, Nine Fingers? Have you thrown in with the Absolute too? Against my own city? Careful. You're in very real danger of hurting my feelings. It's Minsk who's found his faith with Faerun's newest god. And a new name with it. Stone Lord. Lies. I, I considered that. But there's a pattern to his strikes. An intent. In his short reign, the Stone Lord and his crew have earned a reputation. Pure brutality. No survivors. And where he mows my people down, this ripe little cult takes root. But not for much longer. We have word on where he plans to hit next. And he'll find us ready to hit back this time. Nine fingers. Estelle. Call off your ambush. Tell us where he is, and we'll handle this. We? Oui. I heard what happened to your harpers, Jahira. I'm sorry, but this fight's too big for you alone. I don't let trust tie my hands. That's why I sit in this very fine office. The Stone Lord's fate is sealed. We have a bigger war to fight. I'd rather turn our talk to that, but if you need a moment, Jahira, well... You've earned that much. My guild hall is open to you. Have a drink, Jahira. Have a rest. Just leave well enough alone. It would be a shame for the city to lose two of its heroes in one. Wow, look who it is. Glad to see you in the city. Hope you found plenty of coin in Ketwick's coffers. Ready to do some business? Oh, I've got a few ideas. I'll be running this whole place in no time. The annals of Carsus. The preamble to a civilization's downfall, committed to parchment by the very hand that wrought its destruction. If the crown atop the Elder Brain was truly forged by Carsus himself, this book will confirm it. All we have to do is turn the page. Devil Raphael was telling the truth. There's no doubt. The crown of Carsus is what's controlling the Elder Brain. And this, this is no mere journal. It contains Carsus' original plans for the crown's construction. His designs for godhood. Not exactly. It was what he did with it that sealed his fate. And for a time, that of magic itself. The crown was merely the means. The book states that the crown and netherstones were originally one construct, seemingly sundered at the moment of Carsus' downfall. If we can collect the crown setting and the three netherstones, and with the correct invocation of certain spells and gestures detailed in these notes, I think I could reforge it to every end you can imagine, and a thousand more beyond. Just think of it. The power of the gods in mortal hands at last would be free of doctrine and dogma, confined only by the limits of our imaginations. I promise you, the gods will never grant us such a blessing, no matter how much we worship and adore them. I don't know. Ao does not look kindly on gods meddling in mortal affairs. She may have no choice but to stand by and let events unfold. Even with the fate of the world at stake, she had little more to offer me than the means of blowing myself up at a more convenient time. She's done nothing to help us. Mistra wanted the brain obliterated because of this crown. 
She fears a world in which such power is beyond her control, ready to be claimed by Karsus's successor. She sent me to die. Ambition is not a sin. To question the powers that rule us is not treason. We must at least try. Why wallow in the dirt where we can reach for the stars? This is no passing whim. Trust me. If I can obtain that crown, it will affect us all. It's not a decision I'll take lightly. It's our future that I'm thinking of. Can't rely on anyone else to do it for us. For now, we've learned all we can. Whatever comes of this, we cannot allow the crown to be reforged in Raphael's image. A devil wielding the might of Cassus. It would be the end of everything. Faces, hands, and eyebrows. How do we protect them? Watch for wind direction. Put on your gloves. And... A light at arm's length. Very good. And what does Uncle Philogear always say? Once it's lit, you commit. Excellent! Now remember, Philogear's fireworks accepts no liability for singed nails, toasted eyelashes, loss of limbs, scalded torsos, or blown-off heads. Now, you there. What can I do for you? Your esteemedness returns. Oh, joyous hour. You must be awfully familiar with our esteemed Archduke to know about a thing like that. Truly. That's remarkable. I like to deal with remarkable people. Very well. You seek answers. Lord Mammon seeks coin. I will happily mediate. Make me an offer. Mammon, I knew it. I did. The first hit's free, eh? Oh, fine. I'll humor you, mortal. Just this once. You stand before Mammon's picklock. Latchkeeper of the Nine Hells. My business is not information, nor hellish curios. Not really. I break people into the Hells. That's my thing. I can reveal to you that I opened a portal for Lord Gortash. Raphael. That sounds vaguely familiar, but I have a terrible memory for names. The only thing that jogs it is coin. My, what deep pockets you have. Yes, you are quite correct. The Crown of Carsus left the vault, and an opportunity opened for a devil named Raphael. His House of Hope is furnished with a great deal of treasures, many related to Carsus. But alas, he lacks the crown itself. He's rather ambitious. One can only wonder what he has planned for the crown. The answers to that can probably be found within his house. Let's poke around the rat's nest. Maybe set it on fire on the way out. What a fascinating proposition. Ludicrous, of course, but fascinating nevertheless. Very well. If you wish to die in Avernus, that's your business. Mine is charging you for it. Of course, such a task will require quite the substantial donation to Lord Mammon's coffers. Such a task would be tantamount to suicide. Do not even entertain it.
You put me in a difficult position, mortal. You are almost certain to fail. Almost. And so, there is a chance you might succeed. Fine. I'd like to be able to carry all of my precious stock without the need of a team of oxen. There are gauntlets of hill giant strength within the House of Hope. Free passage, and you fetch them for me. Deal? Allow me to outline how this is going to work. First, you were never here. We never spoke. Second, you will perform the rites yourself. I want absolute deniability. Here's the grimoire and necessary components. Oh, take this key, too. It unlocks the ritual room upstairs. There's a blood circle already drawn. Don't ask whose blood. Along with the grimoire and components, Helsick hands you a note containing precise instructions for performing the ritual. Finally, you were never here. That is of utmost import to remember. Now be gone!